Hi folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. You're joining me on board good old Narrowboat Tilly, and today you are joining me for an episode of the Narrowboat Diaries. This time we're going to look at what was going on with boat life and beyond during the end of February into the start of March, and really I wanted to try and show you a few things rather than in strict chronological order, just group a few things together to show, well, this is what it's like off the boat and what I do when I'm not on board Tilly and when I'm going to and from work and oh lovely boat trips and what have you so without further ado let's get stuck in we've got some great scenery to see in this episode as well some beautiful sunsets oh it's gonna be great I hope anyway let's roll so, our story begins here at Mad Jack's, or the John Mitten Inn, depending on how posh you are, which is the pub and restaurant just over the way of that white picket fence there, which is extremely handy for many reasons. And it may look a bit cold there, but this is what it looks like in the sun. I promise you we are going to see sun in this video, unlike many others. Then we move along for a couple of days here by Meistermin Marina, which is why all these boats are moored up on the far side of the canal, which also, just up the way there, is where the Narrowboat Inn is, one of the classic sort of um, evening meal out sort of places to go in the area. And unfortunately, like I say, it's not all going to be beautiful sun, but I promise you I'm going to keep this video as sun heavy as I can. Um, and then again we're going to travel a little bit further down and more up here and prepare for beautiful scenery inbound in about two seconds. This is just by the top of the Frankton Locks which is the junction from the Langothlin Canal down onto the Montgomery Canal which is where the next Narrowboat Diaries episode will take place and that really is going to be a beautiful video but again featuring a lot of changeable weather. And like I say, I wanted to try something a little bit different with this video, showing you everything clumped together, like where we've moored up in the last few weeks and where I've been, and just be able to show you some of this absolutely beautiful... I mean, just look at the colours and everything, and get ready for this clip coming right now too. Just having that as your sunset, and this is the view from the back door. What more can you possibly ask for? Again, there's so many moments like this that I end up catching on camera and never sharing and never like seeing the light of day that I wanted to just bunch all these things together and say look there's so much variation in boat life and there's so many different things that go on that it's impossible to like document and tell you every single thing but again I mean when you wake up in the morning and you've got beautiful scenes like that out of the door it's just fantastic and if it gets a bit cold light the fire and away you go though i'm not sure why there's such a blue flame there hmm. but again let's get back to the real world unfortunately even when it's a beautiful day because there's been so much water on the ground and so much real bad weather like thrown in mixed in with these beautiful days it means as you saw then like the towpath in some places can be just completely waterlogged no matter how bright or sunny a day it is there's a shoe that i fished out of the canal it got wedged down the side of tilly which i'm not sure it looked so brand new that i thought well i can't just put it in the bin or anything it's got to be hung up on one of the uh, markers there so that people if they have lost it upstream further on come back past can be like is that my shoe hung up at the side of the canal Oh, now this was a treat. That, I believe, is a cormorant, but feel free to correct me in the comments. And I was just looking out of the kitchen window, and it literally emerged. It had dived underneath the um, water before I looked out, and then it emerged, and then I grabbed my camera and managed to get this perfect shot of it running across the water before it took off. Absolutely love it. Anyway, let's um, share a random moment from normal, everyday, narrowboat life now. That's what this is all about, I suppose. Well, we've got the fire lit, everything's all nice and cosy, and we're just waiting for my dad and my little sister to turn up for some chips. As you can see, we've got plates and trays out everywhere, and some, uh, oh, the greatest sauce ever. I don't know if this was already in this video when I bought it, but my goodness me, Crucial's Premium Tomato Ketchup, 99p a bottle, the nicest ketchup I have ever had. Anyway, that's a totally random distraction. Also, a holiday boat's just going past and moored up just ahead, which is why it's all wavy and wobbly out there. 
one of the things that I absolutely love to do is wander outside in the dark when you're out in these mega rural places. Like here at the Frankton Locks, you can see just how dark it is out here in these super rural places where you barely have any light pollution. And if it's a cloudy night, so you haven't even got like the moonlight coming down, if the moon's up, of course, then it can just be so totally dark. It's just, it is incredible. And it's what makes it so good for astronomy in these places. But you can see here, I just thought, well, I'm running low on water, so better head out in the evening. I was going to wait until the morning and just walk down to the water point with a few uh, empty bottles and me backpack. So that was nice. Just ran wanted to randomly show you again these tiny little places that make up boat life. Uh, tiny little moments in these sort of places that make up boat life. Now, getting on to the off-boat life element of this video, we're up on Old Austria Hill Hillfort. This is a good proper Iron Age Hillfort here. And again, I try to wrap up as many things as I can all in one go if I'm going into town. So if I'm going into town for work, I might sleep at my friend's house overnight and then see another friend in the morning so that it's not constantly biking in and out, in and out to go to see friends or what have you, as I've been trying to sort of be a little bit wiser with my time in recent um, times. And of course, over this sort of period, I was contemplating whether I was going to sell Narrowboat Tilly or not. So I had an awful lot to think about and deal with and a lot of odd jobs to do both on and off board. Um, but again, I just wanted to show you, like I say so many times in these videos, that I've been so lucky to grow up with places like this, just literally a matter of maybe 15, 20 minutes away from Oz Street Town Centre, and you can be out here. I used to come up here all the time in the old days. But equally, this is how the weather can just turn. That's not the same day as that beautiful day, I want to point out. But I went out to go up to my friend's house, still in Oz Street, set out from my mum's house to go to their house, and I got so soaked just walking into town that I literally had to get changed into a pair of their clothes when I reached their house. Again, this is another random little uh, site in Austria, the old chimney at the end of the field there, and this little sort of village greeny sort of area they've put in. And this is more like the antics that I am up to when I'm having my random days in town with friends. Either that or wandering off exploring. And in fact, the future of this YouTube channel is going to see a lot more little videos of these sort of very miniature adventures in exploring the beautiful countryside and seeing what mischief we can get up to, into. And again, I mean, there's so many places like this. This is literally a matter of maybe, again, 15 minutes absolute maximum, I'd say, from being in the Austria Town Centre, if you know the best route out there, that is. But... Just being able to wander around these places again, it's what gave me that love of the outdoors to begin with. And also, it's, it's cosy little scenes like this that I thoroughly enjoy going and visiting my family and what have you. Anyway, let's hand over to another on-location filming piece. Hi friends, after a load of bizarre interruptions to trying to record this little bit to camera, I can finally say. So, I finished work today and got changed into my clothes that I took with me and obviously left in my locker there. And I've just been to the chippy, grabbed a good bag full of chips here. You can see I've got a decent amount of bits and pieces here. And we're heading up to my friend's house to stop the night. So that's a fair deal, I reckon. I'll fetch the chips, you give me a full to sleep on. I've got my computer with me as well so I can do a little bit of writing when everybody's gone to bed and I've just realised I've gone into total darkness here. Right then, let's get up there and get eating. So here you can see my floor bed itself made of sofa cushions and my um, protection, my guard dog here, little Andrew the cat. And again, it's just simple things like that that help to make not only boat life fantastic by having friends and family around all over the place, but just make life what it is. Enjoying fun, friendly times with people that you like. Doesn't really get uh, much better than that, I suppose. And if we have a look here, you can see this is um, just on the outskirts of town again on one of my very long-winded bike rides, just wandering around all over the place for the sake of it, really. And again, I mean... Get on your bike and you can see how wet it's been with those puddles. But start pedalling and who knows where you might end up. It's one of the best things I think about what having Narrowboat Tilly has allowed me to do. Just literally hop on my bike from all of these different places all over Shropshire and in Wales. And just start pedalling and see where I end up and explore all these different places. Again, just so I'd show that random car that might be of interest to some people. Um, but... 
ultimately, I suppose we will think about wrapping this video up. I'm not sure whether this one's been too short and too brief, but perhaps that's much better and you've enjoyed it. Who knows? I hope I've crammed in enough scenery and enough random little moments of life to make it worth your while. This was um, one of the places that Tilly was just moored up through that bridge, so you add that as like the last thing that you'd see at night walking down back to Tilly, pushing me bike along the towpath. Lots of punches in this region. Um, so yeah, here we are at Frankton uh, Locks. I suppose I'll wrap it up and say thanks so much for tuning in as always. Feel free to check out my other videos for literally hundreds of narrowboat videos on this channel. Feel free if you're really interested and want to help me out to check out my short boat life Kindle books. You'll find links to those in the description as well as links to my Facebook page and Facebook and Twitter profiles. Feel free to add and follow me over there for loads of boaty pictures and stuff. But until the next time, have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep it boat worthy and of course... Farewell.